we have a saying that it's not about the house, it's about the community that builds that house. For the Honolulu Habitat for Humanity, it really does take a village, especially with the goal of building 40 houses on Oahu over the next five years. Servco joined in to lend a helping hand in an effort to give back to the community that has supported them for 100 years. I think everyone needs a home, and we see every day in, uh, in Honolulu and really throughout the state, people who don't have homes and um, how hard that life is. So anything we can do to help families uh, get out of very tight, cramped situations uh, elsewhere, expand into a, a really terrific home here in Waimanalo, what a beautiful place. Everything we can do to help that makes us feel great. 40 plus Servco employees spent the entire day helping build two of the four new homes going up in Waimanalo, from laying the foundation to installing drywall and painting. CEO Mark Fukunaga among them getting his hands dirty. I'm waiting for my turn with a nail gun, but I don't know if they'll let me have it, so we'll see. <laughs> Servco, and I'm not making this up, like they are the most prepared group of volunteers that, that we've ever had here and it's, it's really been impressive to see how organized they were um, and, uh, and committed to doing it and we're hoping that it, you know, it becomes an ongoing thing because um, it's just a great, great mix of the work that Servco does and the mission that we're trying to serve. This is where Sharon Waite's future home will stand after living in the same apartment complex for more than 40 years with her children and grandchildren now she'll have something to pass down to her family. I'm very thankful for people like you guys that come out and give us a lending hand. <laughs> I'm just happy. It's like a dream, like a pinch me and see if I'm out. If I could scream. I think to see people in their new homes, I think for some of many of these people, maybe the first one they've ever had uh, to themselves. And I think that's just going to be a wonderful, amazing uh, moment when they step through the door. I'm going to have my own bathroom. And I'm going to have my own shower. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I don't have to wait. <laughs> it's such an emotional process to get, uh, to go through. So yeah, there's lots of tissues. There's lots of crying. I'm one of them. Um, it's, it's, just, it's just an incredible, incredible day.